Well, welcome back. The Bayou City Art Festival is back with three full days of art, music, food, and entertainment. President of the board, Mike Paday, is here on with more on what we can expect this year. Great to see you, Mike. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. I'm glad I didn't have to follow the puppies. No, I know, right? That's a tough. That's a tough act to follow for sure. Okay, we're excited about uh, this year's Bayou City Art Festival back at Memorial Park. It switches between downtown and Memorial Park. Yep. Sounds like weather is going to be amazing. This Frank week. did a very nice job right? on the weather. I saw the weather forecast, sunny and high of 80 maybe the whole weekend. So Fantastic. perfect. Memorial Park, great spot for it. It's our 50th anniversary Fantastic. Uh, of, the, of the Bayou City Art Festival. Obviously, this one in the spring is always at Memorial Park downtown in the fall. Um, we're super excited to have our, our wonderful featured artists joining us here in just a second. Um, 300 artists out there in the park. Uh, it's an incredible opportunity to see Memorial Park, the yeah. new land bridges and what's going on out there. Um, you can still get tickets uh, by UCityArtFestival.com. Uh, we have uh, wine gardens, we have stages, we have music, we have things that KPRC is sponsoring out there. Uh, there's a lot of things going on, stuff for the kids. Um, and the only thing I would say is Memorial Park is still under construction, so we remind everybody that park and ride or take a ride share or Northwest Mall for a, for a, um, for a bus. A shuttle situation, Or a shuttle right? situation, correct. What is so wonderful about this event it is a local favorite. We love this event so much and at both locations, truly. Um, but this really is a great insight into all different kinds of art, right? All of it. I mean, I, I can't draw stick figures where the arms line up. So when it comes to art, that's that's <laughs> not me. But um, incredible, incredible art. Uh, you know, hand-drawn paints, stencils, charcoals, uh, uh, what do you call it, pottery, uh, things that hang, things that hang on the wall, things that go on a shelf, things that you can show off to your friends. It, it really is quite incredible. And the artists are from all over the country, all over the world in some cases, um, all ages, um, all different kinds of, of art. It's a beautiful setting. It's an incredible opportunity it's the largest one in the country yeah 50th anniversary and uh, and it's just a it's a great time and what a perfect weekend to get out everyone's been dying to get out yes. after the mess this weekend and I think spring is finally won up over winter so it's perfect to get out and, and enjoy Memorial Park I can't agree with you more also a portion of the proceeds will benefit about rough like six local six, charities. six local charities uh, we also have the judging of our middle school art competition which also happens which is incredible and then if those of you have been to the rodeo and see that incredible yeah. art competition they have there with their auction. We have something similar, so we'll be uh, announcing the winners there. Um, yeah, we do honor the charities. Uh, you can be get a VIP ticket where you can come under a nice tree and have a glass of wine and listen to some great music. So it's all things family. Bring the kids under free, under five or free. Uh, it's only five dollars for a young man or a young girl to get into the to the park as well. So just it's everything. I'm it super really excited is. about it because I don't know where to start and I don't know where to finish. I know. Gonna well, great. we're going to finish here, but we do want to let everybody know we did have a brief mention of all the tickets as you see that VIP tickets still available you see the rundown there five bucks children six to twelve all kinds of great stuff no on-site parking so keep that in mind but listen this is a highly sought after for artists to come and be part of we're gonna send things over to Catherine who is standing by with this year's featured artist hey Catherine hey Courtney we're so excited to have Daryl Thetford here who is our featured artist and you're here all the way from Tennessee to show off some of your works and you're here through the whole festival right Right, right. I came from Chattanooga, Tennessee. That's fantastic. And we have behind us here one of the amazing works that you have. It's a five by seven piece of art. You know, there's so much color, so much going on in this painting. What inspires you? You know, I mean, for this piece, I, I, I do a lot of contemporary work uh, based on contemporary life. I do some Western themes. But for this piece, uh, I always had a romantic vision of um, uh, of city life. I grew up in a very rural part of Tennessee, and I just it, it always seemed uh, a very romanticized version version in my head of what it would be. And even though I've, I've since grown out of that, I understand the complexities of any urban living, uh, it still holds that fascination of the energy and the color and the movement, and it's still, I still love to be here. And you're here in a big city here in yeah, Houston exactly. now for the Bayou City Art Festival. So what inspires that, and what got you into art? You know, uh, we don't have time to tell tell you what <laughs> got me into art, but uh, what um, uh, the, the short version is, I was a very burnt, burnout mental health worker. Uh, I was managing a mental health center and couldn't imagine what I was going to do after that. Uh, 
I met a, a person making their living as a full-time artist, and I went, wow, you can do that. I'd always had an artistic um, uh, interest and, and always done things artistically, but never really knew any way to do that. And he, he, he just really taught me the, the steps, and one of the ways was to do art festivals, and only the best, and that's one of the reasons I'm in Bayou City. And we're so happy that you're here. We're seeing some of your art on display right now. How long does it take you to get through one of these pieces to make it from start to finish? You know, I mean, it, it's hard to answer uh, directly. Uh, I usually work on two or three at a time, but I would say roughly a month. Wow, a month. Well, it's incredible to see this work right here. We're so looking forward to seeing more of them at the Bayou City Art Festival. Thank you. So, Daryl, thanks so much for being here. For and sure. the 50th annual Bayou City Art Festival is happening Friday through Sunday at Memorial Park. And for tickets and more information, visit their website at Bayou City Art festival.com.